Hey there, dear friend. Step into my realm where we delve into the intricate world of liver health. Today's spotlight, liver cirrhosis and the enigma of a fatty liver. Are you ready to embark? Let's dive in together and oh, do kindly grace that subscribe button nestled beneath this video. Welcome aboard. Liver cirrhosis, a potentially life-threatening condition, is the final stage of various chronic liver diseases. It occurs when healthy liver tissue is gradually replaced with scar tissue, impairing the liver's ability to function properly. As the scarring progresses, the liver's ability to filter toxins, produce essential proteins, and perform other vital functions is compromised. One of the leading causes of liver cirrhosis is fatty liver disease, a condition characterized by the accumulation of excessive fat in the liver cells. In this comprehensive video, we'll delve into 11 vital signs that may indicate the presence of liver cirrhosis, providing you with valuable insights to recognize this condition early. Additionally, we'll explore the intricacies of fatty liver disease, a major contributor to liver cirrhosis, and shed light on its symptoms, risks, and preventive measures. Fatigue and weakness. Persistent fatigue and a general feeling of weakness are common signs of liver cirrhosis. As the liver's ability to filter toxins and produce essential proteins diminishes, the body struggles to function optimally, leading to chronic tiredness and a lack of energy. This symptom can significantly impact daily activities and overall quality of life. Loss of appetite and weight loss. Liver cirrhosis can cause a decrease in appetite, leading to unintentional weight loss. This phenomenon is often attributed to the liver's reduced ability to metabolize nutrients effectively, resulting in a feeling of fullness and disinterest in food. Additionally, the presence of toxins in the body can further contribute to a decreased appetite, abdominal pain and discomfort. As the liver becomes increasingly scarred and inflamed, it can cause abdominal pain and discomfort in the upper right quadrant, just below the rib cage. This pain may be dull, aching, or sharp, depending on the severity of the condition and the presence of complications, such as a sight's fluid accumulation in the abdomen. Jaundice yellowing of skin and eyes. One of the most visible signs of liver cirrhosis is jaundice, characterized by a yellowish discoloration of the skin and the whites of the eyes. This occurs when the damaged liver is unable to properly process and eliminate bilirubin, a waste product from the breakdown of red blood cells, causing it to accumulate in the body. Swollen legs and ankles edema. Fluid retention, commonly known as edema, is another potential symptom of liver cirrhosis. As the liver's function declines, it can lead to an imbalance in the body's fluid regulation, causing swelling in the legs, ankles, and even the abdomen. Itchy skin. Cirrhosis can disrupt the liver's ability to process certain substances, leading to the accumulation of bile salts and other compounds in the skin. This can result in persistent, intense itching, particularly on the trunk and extremities, which can significantly impact sleep quality and overall well-being. Confusion and slurred speech. Liver cirrhosis can cause toxins to build up in the bloodstream, leading to a condition called hepatic encephalopathy. This can manifest as confusion, disorientation, slurred speech, and even changes in personality or behavior. These symptoms can range from mild to severe and may indicate advanced liver damage, spruising and bleeding easily. As liver cirrhosis progresses, the liver's ability to produce clotting factors essential for proper blood coagulation can be impaired. This can lead to easy bruising, nosebleeds, or excessive bleeding from minor cuts or injuries, which can be a concerning sign of liver dysfunction. Nausea and vomiting. Liver cirrhosis can cause nausea and vomiting due to various factors, including the accumulation of toxins, changes in digestion, and increased abdominal pressure from fluid buildup of sites. Persistent nausea and vomiting can lead to dehydration and further complicate the condition. Abdominal swelling as sites. As sites, or the accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity, is a common complication of advanced liver cirrhosis. This swelling can cause discomfort, shortness of breath, and an increased risk of developing infections or other complications. Spider angiomas abnormal blood vessels on the skin. Spider angiomas, also known as spider nevi, are small, spider-like clusters of blood vessels that can appear on the skin, particularly on the face, arms, and trunk. These abnormal blood vessels are often associated with liver cirrhosis and can be a visible sign of underlying liver dysfunction. Understanding fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease is a condition in which excess fat accumulates in the liver cells, potentially leading to inflammation and liver damage. There are two main types. 
Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD and alcoholic fatty liver disease AFLD. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD is a condition that affects individuals who consume little or no alcohol. It is closely linked to obesity, insulin resistance, and metabolic disorders. As fat accumulates in the liver cells, it can trigger inflammation and potentially progress to more severe forms of liver disease, such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH and, ultimately, cirrhosis. On the other hand, alcoholic fatty liver disease AFLD is caused by excessive alcohol consumption over an extended period. Alcohol metabolism in the liver can lead to the accumulation of harmful byproducts, oxidative stress and inflammation, ultimately leading to fat accumulation and potential liver damage. Risk factors for fatty liver disease, obesity and metabolic syndrome, excess body weight, particularly around the abdomen, and metabolic disorders such as insulin resistance and high blood sugar levels increase the risk of developing fatty liver disease. High-fat, high-calorie diet. A diet rich in saturated fats, refined carbohydrates, and sugary foods can contribute to the accumulation of fat in the liver cells. Excessive alcohol consumption. Prolonged and heavy alcohol intake is a major risk factor for alcoholic fatty liver disease, as well as other forms of liver damage, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. Individuals with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes are more prone to developing fatty liver disease due to the disruption of normal fat metabolism. Genetic factors. Certain genetic variations can increase an individual's susceptibility to developing fatty liver disease, even in the absence of other risk factors. Preventing and managing fatty liver disease. Maintaining a healthy weight and diet. Adopting a balanced and nutritious diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats, can help prevent and manage fatty liver disease. Achieving and maintaining a healthy body weight through dietary changes and regular exercise is crucial. Regular exercise. Engaging in regular physical activity, such as cardiovascular exercises and strength training, can help reduce liver fat accumulation, improve insulin sensitivity, and promote overall health. Limiting alcohol consumption. For individuals with alcoholic fatty liver disease, abstaining from alcohol or significantly reducing intake is essential to prevent further liver damage. Managing underlying conditions. Individuals with conditions like diabetes, high cholesterol, or metabolic syndrome should work closely with their healthcare providers to manage these underlying factors, which can contribute to fatty liver disease. Medications if prescribed by a healthcare professional. In some cases, medications may be prescribed to manage specific aspects of fatty liver disease, such as insulin resistance or inflammation. However, these should only be taken under the guidance of a qualified healthcare professional. By recognizing the vital signs of liver cirrhosis and understanding the symptoms and risks associated with fatty liver disease, individuals can take proactive steps to protect their liver health. Early detection and appropriate lifestyle changes or medical interventions can help prevent or manage the progression of these conditions. Keep in mind that the complexities of liver cirrhosis and fatty liver disease reveal a spectrum of presentations and intensities, with diverse symptoms among individuals. Consistent check-ins, adherence to treatment blueprints, and transparent dialogues with healthcare guardians shape the cornerstone of effective management and enhanced well-being. This video serves as a compass. Yet individualized guidance from proficient healthcare stewards remains paramount for precise diagnosis, tailored therapeutic avenues, and continuous vigilance over your liver's welfare. So, ensure your subscription, appreciation, and dissemination of knowledge. Until our paths converge again, cherish the journey. Hey there, fellow explorers. Trust that your voyage through this channel has been enriching thus far. Have you cast your anchor by subscribing? If not, let's make that happen. And if you have, explore the wisdom awaiting in the adjacent video. It might just be the beacon you seek.